What's up everybody? Welcome back to another video. Um, today we're going to be doing something that I've been putting off for a long time. Uh, and that's going to be installing the 10 inch Apple CarPlay head unit into my car. So as you know, base models and stocks come with this. Sport Touring and the Type R come with the nicer radio. Um, I have the radio here in this box. I'll go ahead and unbox it when it's time to do everything, but for now I'm going to start pulling everything apart to do so. So what we're going to start with is pulling these two trims off right here. Um, you'll have to pop them off with the trim tool, but yeah. So I'll get those off and then I'll explain what we do next. Alrighty, so we got the little trim pieces off. Um, now you have to pop this out, which apparently it has clips on it too. So I will have to mess with this and figure it out. Um, so let me try to get this real quick and then I'll show y'all. All right, this one was actually fairly easy. There's two clips here on the side. Um, you'll go ahead and disconnect these two clips in the back. And then there's two screws. Let's see if I can get to focus. Yeah, two screws in the back right here that you'll grab and you'll have to pull this head unit out. And there's clips on the sides of it as well. All right, so you have to pull kind of hard, but you pull on these little side things and it should come out. But now I'm gonna have to go ahead and disconnect the wiring in the back. There's a couple of different clips. So you will have to reach in there and grab them. It's gonna be kind of hard, but let's go ahead and give it a try. All right, so head unit is out. Um, this was the last little thing I had holding it in there just for the AC controls. But uh, let's go ahead and get this new unit out and look at what we have in it. So obviously we have our cables and then uh, we have the head unit itself. So here's what the head unit will look like. Um, everything should be direct plug and play. I believe we'll only need these harnesses. I think all this stuff is for the higher trim. So uh, let's go ahead and see how these harnesses connect up. All right, guys, so um, there's a lot of extra cables and whatnot, which I'm not 100% sure why, but um, if you have a basic like model like mine, to make your back camera work, you're going to have to take this cam VIN right here and plug it to this cam VIN, and then we'll have to go in the settings and turn off the deal for the right camera or it'll mess up your unit. So I'll uh, I'll show you all how to do that when we get there, but still kind of plugging and playing and checking over these directions for the second. All right, honestly, I got a whole bunch of wires hooked up. I still got some extra stuff. It does say that you don't need everything. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on and see if everything works as is right now before I honestly like finish it up because I'm gonna have to double check over everything so we got a nice little Honda display it shows you that your door is open um, let's see if I can connect to the radio connected the radio one yet. Give me one sec. Yeah, we're good. All right, so while I'm thinking about it too, uh, let me go ahead and show y'all how to do this part because I read something that if you don't have that camera and you don't do it, your whole screen will go black when you put the car in reverse. So um, let's see, it says go to settings, put password 126-cannabis. So we will need to go to, so you'll want to go to settings, car, then they say factory settings, one, two, 
six. Canvas. And then set right view hide. So, so I believe the setting was on the right rudder, but let's go ahead and turn the right blinker on. Nothing's happening, so it should be good. Um, let's put it in reverse. Camera works and everything, got all the angles. So we're good on that. All right, so the last thing that I did was went ahead and checked that the CarPlay and all that stuff worked. It did. Um, there, it comes with a little purple thing that you'll hook up, and uh, it goes to the CarPlay. So I have everything done right. I know. I mean, I wasn't really trying to show y'all how to do it. I was just kind of trying to help. Again, this is more just for me to document me doing stuff. But the last thing that I'm going to need to do is those white clips on the side right here. You'll have to transfer all those over to this radio and then put everything back in in the reverse order, obviously. But yeah, so we'll go ahead and get that done. And then I will show y'all the final product all installed. Um, and I'll leave links and everything in the description. Again, this is something I've been wanting to do for a while. Probably one of the worst parts about having a regular sport or a base model or whatever is not having the fancy touch screen. So it'll be cool. It's something else to have. Again, it connects to your phone. It shows you the GPS on the screen, does the whole car play deal, all that good stuff. So pretty cool, uh, a little pricey, but definitely a, a good, investment i mean only time will tell how long you know it lasts or if it's worth it but as of right now i really like it and i don't even have it fully installed so let me go ahead and get this all done enough talking and then uh, i'll show you all in a second all right so here's everything back together there you go that's off looks very clean um a little bit intimidating to put in i guess considering there's a lot of extra wires but according to what i was reading about this screen and everything you can do all kinds of cool stuff obviously there's the gps there's the apple carplay um it gives you the ability to download videos and watch videos or set pictures as your backgrounds there's a whole bunch of stuff if you look into it so i mean the price is a, a little bit high again but it was something that i wanted to do anyway and i wanted to try i watched a couple of videos about it a lot of people recommended them so I guess the moral of the story is we'll see how long it holds up. I mean, I'm not going to throw away my stock one, but yeah, you know, that's about it for me. Um, I'm about to run to the bank here in a second. So I'll, uh, I'll be using it and seeing how it does. I mean, obviously I got my speaker set up. I didn't even have to change anything to make my speakers still work. So I don't necessarily understand how that works because normally there's a cable for the back and all kinds of other shit but it works and that's cool with me so i hope you guys enjoyed it um again if you need to see a video on how to really do it if mine wasn't too helpful considering it wasn't really a tutorial um there's plenty of videos about it it's the sygav s-y-g-a-v head unit um there's videos on how to do it so anyway thank you guys for watching again I appreciate y'all. Um, I'm trying my best to push out content and do things. But actually, one more thing before I go. It must be the, the theme of my channel as of lately, but I bought another radio here, a little $100 Amazon radio. Um, I have the bezel here that'll go there for this. And then I um, already removed the stock amp, which is a problem when you're trying to put a system or anything into the uh, IS-300s. I had ordered this cable well, it's not in there, but it was the wrong one. So I'm waiting on that one, but it basically goes from where this connector was to the back of the radio and you splice it into the radio harness. All that good stuff. Um, and yeah, again, I'm just basically waiting on parts at this point um, to try to get everything back in. It's been a little bit of a struggle. I got parts coming from Japan. I got parts coming from the US. I got parts coming from everywhere, but all of the stuff basically to get the interior to my liking because you know i'm meticulous but uh all right anyway enough jibber jabber as uh taylor ray would say i'll catch y'all on the next one guys later